What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna talk about one, why Black Friday sucks, and two, how we lost 1% day trading the S&P 500. Now, I wanna talk about the important part first, which is why Black Friday sucks ass. So, what I realized is that um, a lot of people have been talking to me, and they're like, bro, I have Black Friday um, double pay for my job. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Why do you have Black Friday double pay, bro? It's literally not that important. Black Friday should not be like glorified as it is because first of all, if you're a fucking like chiefin, like if you're itching to fucking go shop on Black Friday, you honestly need some, you need to fucking evaluate yourself mentally. Yeah, if there's a good deal, go get it. But why do you have to like stand outside of a store for fucking couple hours and wait for shit to open? Or why do you have to punch a little kid if you want a TV or something? Like it's all material objects. There's a lot of better things you could be doing in life than worrying about what kind of fucking TV you're gonna get for a fucking discount. So it actually pisses me off a little bit because Black Friday sucks. And also what sucks about Black Friday is that it makes the fucking market move like shit. So like literally fuck this camera too because it's literally, why, why is my face, why am I so dark? Can you barely, honestly, can you even barely see me? Yeah, exactly. It's my thought. Mm. But regardless, chest muscles look at the chest muscles you can't even see them because look my fucking whole face is blacked out right now damn fuck this stupid ass shit i don't care bro all right we're gonna minimize this we're gonna talk about today's trade oh we should also talk about monday's trade which is probably ages ago because i don't even fucking remember what i did yeah i don't honestly guys actually i do remember i have a picture of it on my phone so we're actually gonna talk about it still but it's not going to be as nice as um, we want it to be. So let's zoom out of here. Let's go. Let's move our camera to the spot where it needs to be. And let's fucking start cooking right here. All right. So we look at this chart, obviously, bunch of jumbo, mumbo, jumbo, bunch of fucked up shit all over the place. Oh, excuse me for that. But all right, we're going to go to the hourly chart. Obviously, every fucking time before we trade, what do we mark out? The highs and the lows, highs, highs, highs right here. And then we have all these lows down here. We also did have this low right here. This is a low right here that I had marked out. Now, I thought this was a prominent. Actually, no, this is the low that I'm talking about. Not this low. My fault. I, 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 didn't, mean, I didn't mean to be confusing right now. This is the low that I'm talking about right here. And then this is the sweep of that low. So what happens when you sweep a low, right? What what, what happens when you sweep a low? You, on, you obviously... um. You look for longs, right? So the um, market swept the low and then it kind of wicked above this high. This is technically a high. Went down a little bit in the pre-market and then it opened about right here. Yeah, opened 8.30. I've, I set my chart back to uh, US time. But so <clears throat> let's not make things too confusing. So um, obviously since it swept the low and then there's another low that it swept, I was waiting for a five minute break of structure so that I could take a trade. So five minute structure, we're going to the downside. What's the rule again, right? If, if market's going down to the downside, it's, it's, it's in a downtrend, we have to wait for a close above a high. So um, we have high, high, high. Um, the, the, the blue candles are the down candles. So up candle, down candle, that's a high, right? So then this technically right here, this candle, is a break of structure because look, this is the high and it broke above it. That's a BOS. Now, obviously, market went to shit and it's still in shit because I just should have probably not just traded today. I mean, what was there? There's no point in trading on this day. Like this ugly ass market is actually, and that's why I actually I should have not risked as much also. So one thing, mistake, of, I should have not risked the amount that I did. Two, I should have even traded at all. Three, even if I did trade, um, should have been cautious. Um, but regardless, here's obviously here's the turnout. Um, it went kind of low here, then it stopped us out right here. Now you could see that this is absolute garbage, bro. The fucking market here is super shit. Like when, so that's why you uh, this, you just try to avoid days like this because market just chops like shit. So it creates bad scenarios. Um, but obviously, so I was looking for longs. I mean, everything's bullish. Everything says that it was going to be bullish, but mm, I guess not. And technically, is it really still not bullish? I mean, look at this shit. This is more like fucking assish. This is not no bullish or bearish. This is 
fucking shit-ish. The market is literally staying within these two prices. And it's probably going to stay within these two prices for the next three and a half hours of market. Because I'm recording this at 11 a.m. But let's move on to Monday, which we actually did take a beautiful trade on Monday. So here we have Monday. Um, you know what? Let's play a game because I might. Let's just say it. Let's just see if I could spot out the trade that I took on Monday. All right. Monday 830. Where's Monday 830? Monday 830. Monday 830. I'm, on, I'm still in the five minute. Okay. okay. Monday 830 was around right here. 830 on Monday. And we took longs this day. I 100% know that we took longs. Okay, so technically speaking, right here. Oh, there. Boom. I literally just found it. All right, so Fibonacci retracement tool. We have a five-minute fair value gap. Mm, let's go on the 15-minute. It's going to be easier on the 15-minute. So here's Monday's trade. We have a, a, a five-minute fair value gap. Um, our market's bullish as fuck. Obviously, still very bullish. Market's still very bullish. Here's a bigger fair value gap, but that that's not doesn't matter right now. Um... And then technically, we also have an order block, I would say, right here. Because look, we have a move down and then three big-ass bullish candles, which means orders were filled there. So then we can mark that out. Now, like, what is that doubled up? That just doubled up as a fucking bullish move right there. And then five-minute chart. Where the fuck am I? Fucking dick-ass fucking shit. And uh, break a structure. So, like, break a structure would have been right here. One, do, 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 do. Yep. And then break a structure, long position, since this is the candle that broke it. Yeah, right there. That's the trade we took. And it was actually kind of very beautiful because, I mean, just look at that shit. Whew. Man. But, yeah, so that's nice. So now official update on the account is that we are only up 1% in the past month. And I'm trying to get to 10% just to prove to myself I got passive funded account. So regardless of anything and regardless of all the mistakes that we've made, regardless of all types of other shit, um, we did pretty good this week. It was based on the circumstances. At least at least I woke up this morning and traded, you know, better than just sleeping in and not doing anything. But we got we got more business to handle and shit. So appreciate you for watching the video. Soon we're going to be millionaires. I promise you. I fucking promise you. I'm going to be a multi-million dollar day trader. And we're going to open a hedge fund. I promise. And this is a manifestation right here, right now, that I'm going to be a multi-million dollar day trader. So, yeah. And enjoy the journey. And watch. And be entertained by that, I guess. Peace out.